Hi there, and welcome to another in our constellation series. Today we're looking at the constellation of Cepheus. Now, Cepheus is a northern constellation. It's one of the Greek constellations, and it has a very distinctive house shape. It was named after the mythical King Cepheus of Ethiopia, the husband of Cassiopeia and the father of the beautiful Andromeda, and is therefore part of the Perseus family of constellations. It's the 27th largest constellation in the sky, but no Messier objects. In terms of stars, Alpha Cephei, or Alderamin, is the brightest star of the constellation. It's a white star. It's approximately 49 light years away. And the name Alderamin is Arabic, uh, which means right arm. It has an apparent magnitude of 2.5, and it rotates at a very fast speed, about 246 kilometres a second completing one revolution within 12 hours or so. Alderamin never sets below the horizon when observed from Europe, from Northern Asia, Canada and North America, and it can easily be seen by the naked eye, which actually means that uh, Cepheus technically is a circumpolar constellation. Beta Cephei is Alphurk. It's a triple star with an apparent magnitude that varies from 3.15 to 3.21. It's about 690 light years away from us. Delta Cephei, is a double star with an apparent magnitude between 3.48 and 4.37 and is 891 light years away. So it's just in the visible range from a dark sky location. And Delta Cephei is the prototype for a class of stars known as the Cephid or Cephid variable stars. And we'll look at those in another program. Gamma Cephei, Al Ray, is another binary. And it has an apparent magnitude of 3.22 and it's 45 light years away. It's actually the first system that contained an extrasolar planet ever discovered back in 1989. And Zeta C5 is an orange subgiant with an apparent magnitude of 3.39, and it's about 730 light years away. There are no Messier objects in Cepheus, but it does contain the Fireworks Galaxy, which is NGC 6946, or Caldwell 12, and it's an intermediate spiral galaxy, and the Wizard Nebula, NGC 7380, which, depending on the angle, looks like a wizard or not, as you can see. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed that little look at Cepheus. Please subscribe to this channel. It means a lot to me because it shows me that people are interested in what I'm doing. Dark skies, take care, and see you next time.